<laughs> You've got some hardcore fans here right now. I mean, you must get this a lot. I mean, do you, when you look out at these people, are, are, this is an exceptionally great crowd. It's an exceptional group. Thank you. Do you recognize any faces that are on a watch list or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing well. Well, thanks for coming. It's great to have you Thank here. Thank you for having me. You know what I just saw on the way here? What? Our picture in the bathtub together. Oh, yes, that is right. We have a photo. I don't have that at home. And oh, I well, really we'll get you that. one of them for your house. Would you put that up in your house? Absolutely. I would have to explain it to the kids, because they might. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we are fully, pretty much clothed, right? I We're mean... fully clothed in the yeah. tub, and so that would be OK. Yeah, I think that would be OK. Yeah, Although yeah. maybe they, they'll get the idea that they can get in the tub fully clothed, which is probably not OK. They actually, well, I mean, I sometimes go swimming with my clothes on, because I just am too lazy to go put in a bathing suit. So they thought that was like something that they should do. So now they tend to, sometimes they'll jump in the pool with their clothes on, and I have to explain to the nannies, like, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to change them, and I'll help. That's, <laughs> that's my call. <laughs> hey, that's the nanny's problem, you know? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> do you do, like, homework with the kids? I have done. I mean, they're only in first grade, so it's not. Right. I mean, I'm, that's about the level I'll have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> were you a good student yourself? No. You were not. What about spelling? Was that one of your... Now, I saw you spelling Baxter, and I, I was like, you know, I was, I was impressed because I'm lucky if I can spell my own name. That's the For truth. real. It took me a minute, but I've learned. There is an H at the end of it. Let's go through some more. Some words like, for no. instance, the Why? word. It's abuse. It's abusive. The word rhythm. That's like a tricky word, but right. it's one that you probably have, you know, comes up in your life a lot. Do you know how to spell rhythm? Can you speak it into your phone? Because then it will autocorrect it. Automatically. Yeah, but... <laughs> and that as well has an H in it. Yeah, so. in a way, you don't need to know how to spell anymore, do you? It's really no. kind of sad. I never did, so I'm, I'm good with it. Because, I, you know, as a songwriter, I can just write it down and spell it my own way and take creative license. So. Let me ask you about writing songs. <laughs> are you writing songs right now? Yes. Or are you working on it? I was working in the studio. <laughs> It's so good to just be back in the studio, be in a creative environment. And do you have a studio in your home? Yeah. You do? OK, I that's do. great. And just... what's your process as far as writing songs goes? Well, la OK, so last night I was not at the home studio. And the thing about that is, like, the kids will be like, so they're, they're twins. They just turned seven. And they get it. Like, that's what I do. You know, like, I go to the studio. They actually recorded a song. No one's heard it yet. I, they I did? Wrote, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, are, they, are they talented they singers? They're definitely talented. Yeah. They're definitely well, talented. They're, wow. they're very unique kids and they're very, they're super smart. Yeah. I bet. So, yeah. wow. So, they're recording music already. Did they write the song? I, I wrote the song, but they were like, my daughter was like, I, can't, I really need to get back in the studio. <laughs> 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 I'm like, are you me? But it was, but anyway, so they came to the studio, like, to drop me for the studio last night, and they, then they went to get ice cream. And um, I worked until like five in the morning. Um, because I was writing with a friend of mine. Till 5 in the morning. Till wow. 5 in the morning, but then living with it afterwards, and yeah, I'm going to go back after this and finish the second verse. So, so did, <laughs> like... <laughs> back to the kids' song. What is the title? Can you tell us the title of the song you wrote for well, Their names with the kids? Are, are Moroccan and Monroe. We call them rock and roll, so I've just been calling it rock and roll. I don't know. I see. Okay. I got creative again. What can I say? That's fun. Is that something you will ever release, that song? I don't know. Yeah. I have to talk it over with Nick and see how he feels about it. Right, yeah. You have to make those decisions together, yeah. for sure. I would be very angry if he released a song without asking me. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry, Nick. I All like... parents get angry when they're split and then their kids release a song. It's it always happens. come between families. It happens, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so you're, when you're writing music, are you writing it on paper? Are you sitting at a piano? How does it work? Well, if we're working on just, like, specifically um, just, the, like, a piano vocal type song, um, the last one I did, I'm not going to say the title of it because I want to surprise my real fans when the album's out. Okay. But um, so it's a, a piano ballad, and I sat with my musical director, Daniel Moore, and just sat down and was like, here's... We listened to some things that were inspiring as both things that we worked on and stuff. Can you tell us what you heard that were... was the songs that were inspiring just you? Just, like, the chord changes were not typical, and it's hard for me to, to be like... 
I don't want to reference something that's an album cut and expect you to know it, so I'm not going to do that. So, okay. But I mean, of my own stuff. So it's like more of like an obscure type of a thing. But anyway. Mm -hmm. So um, when you write the lyrics down with that song, do you save the paper that you originally? Do you say, oh, this might be a memento, and I will keep this forever? I do, you and do. that's well. Here's the thing: so, most people write in their phones now. So if I'm like co-writing with somebody and everybody's on their phone, I'm like. I don't want to be on my phone because then if I'm in the middle of writing a lyric and trying to listen to the track, then someone's going to distract me yeah, by you texting get a, me. A text, and, and then suddenly <laughs> that's part of your song. Exactly. <laughs> well, Not a bad it, idea. Could be, it could be something inspiring. <laughs> but what I do, I do have a, um, I, I write in a book, and a lot of people give me books like one time a long, long time ago because, you know, I don't have birthdays, I only have anniversaries. So it doesn't count. Mm -hmm. So. No, you, you can borrow that if you want one day. <laughs> but um, so when I I don't know. Do what you get cake for the anniversaries or is it? Uh, I mean, I can have a, a morsel. Oh, all right, because I like a cake, so yeah. uh, I'm gonna stick with birthdays well, myself. Well, you, you know, you can have whatever you want. It's your okay. anniversary. Okay, all right, I see. All but right. what I was gonna say is when I because it was like a party, the last like birthday party that I had was like my 21st or whatever when I one of my first or second albums, and Cindy Lauper actually gave me a book that I ended up writing on my lyrics for the album Music Box, which has Hero. <laughs> somewhere, so thank you, Miss. Is Cindy Lauper a friend of yours? I haven't seen her in a really long time, and I was always a fan of hers. She has up. an, uh, she, I think she's an one of the most vocals. underrated uh, yeah. uh, singers of all time. Mm -hmm. And she's also one of those people, when you, you heard her sing, mm -hmm. really sing, it was the same kind of reaction we had when we first really heard you sing, and it was like, oh my goodness, where did this, how did this happen? This is like a miraculous voice. <laughs> I, I mean, you are, Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings.